my name is Rachel Andrews, welcome to Everyday Athlete. On this week's video, it's a completely different flavour to the last few that I've done where I've been training for the longer swim. That's out the way, I'm fully recovered and I'm feeling pretty happy about the fact I made it. Um, but what I'm doing is I'm out and about for work, kind of dotting all over the, uh, the, um, the countries, kind of the Midlands and up to Scotland. And I thought I'd take the opportunity to meet some of the people that I correspond with online who I've met for outdoor swimming. So today I've come to the New Bath Hotel and I'm gonna go into their outdoor pool with the guys from uh, Blue Tonic, the, the mental health charity that gets people involved with getting into outdoor blue spaces, well, into the water in some way or another, whether it be swimming or on the water. And so it's a chance for me to catch up with these guys who I joined in on the webinar with um, and also to go for a little swim. It might be lane swimming, in which case I'll be heads up, swimming nice and easy and just chatting, I think. But it's, uh, it's really super to be able to break up the evenings from when I'm working by meeting up with people who are also interested in outdoor swimming and seeing some of their local spaces. So uh, let's get and meet the crew. We'll come and meet up with these guys. So, we've got Scott. Hi. And Jane. Hi. Jane. Sally. And Sally. And I think Sally's the one that's organized this up, so we're really looking forward to hopping in, getting a look at this place. I'll follow you in. So according to the sign, this is geothermically heated. It comes in at 19.8 degrees at one end, then circulates around, and it says on the board here that it is 21.4 degrees. That is going to be peachy warm. Nearly as warm as the sea, I reckon. Well, the uh, Matlock, Matlock Bath Hotel Pool is a really lovely place to drop into uh, and if you're in the area it's certainly worth a look. It was nice and warm in there, not as warm as I'd hoped because at 21 degrees I was thinking it'd be really warm but actually it's been about 30 degrees in the air temperature but it was really nice to get in there, super refreshing and lovely to have a swim up and down and a little chat with the guys. So I'm stopping off at my second stop, meeting people along the way on my little journey. And I've come down to near Ullswater to meet up with Siobhan, who is a handmade soap maker. And uh, that's what, would that be the right description there, yeah. Siobhan? Yeah, I think so. Natural skincare. Natural skincare. What brought you to doing that then? Um, sensitive skin and uh, I like making things anyway, so natural thing to make it yourself and then I gave it to friends and gifted it to friends yeah. and then I just thought hey I'll make this and sell it it's much better than working in marketing well that sounds pretty good I'll put a little link to that in the bottom of the description for this so we've come down to uh, I think this is is this one of your favorite local spots yeah. well, this the lake is at least we're down at Ullswater is. just let me take a give you a look at this what a view This water looks so clear. I cannot wait to get in for a little dip. Really great way to break up the journey on my way north. It's a nice walk up there. We quite often walk up there and sit on the top and look over. Nice. Up the top of that hill there? Yeah, where the little tour is. I mean, from the other uh, side. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, that'd be a long swim. Swim over, walk up the hill, swim back again. No. I don't think I could get to the other side, you know. I bet you could. The question is whether you'd want to. I like the idea of it. Love to. Do it with I'm the Canadian then. I can better take, do a length, eh? Take the Canadian canoe with you then. Yeah, I should get Rob to paddle a yeah. paddle next to Because also then you're super visible to anything that's around. Ah, is that the walk that goes around that that person's on the far side? Yes. That would be yeah. a magnificent walk. Yeah, it is. And the ferry that paddles up and down, there's a halfway point. Ah, yeah. <laughs> I think that'll work. Yee! Yee! I seem to sink. I'm not very, uh, not ever so floaty. Mm. 
Well, all's water. It's been a pleasure. Thanks very much, Vaughan. It's been immense. What a lovely place. My pleasure. Super lucky to be here with all your little ducks and things. <laughs> right, on I go. Next stop, over the border, I think. So I've finished work and I thought I'd go and have a little explore of some waterfalls that are really close to where I'm staying at Glendevin uh, B&B near Onish. So I'm up working on the west coast of Scotland. I'm about 10 or 12 miles south of um, Fort William along the coast. And anyway, they told me about these, um, this waterfall and the pool at the bottom of it. And you know me, I just can't resist. Got nothing else to do over Friday night here on my own. So um, let's go see what we can find. <laughs> I do love a bit of an adventure. Oh, I've got a choice. Over the rickety bridge, over the other rickety bridge. You know what I'm going to do? Obvious. Ooh. Well, as I've got no one else to talk to, I guess I'll talk to you. Um, I've had a gloriously um, damp day in the Highlands today. Um, I mean, at least it didn't belt down. But it was kind of, oh, here's the fork. That has to be it, doesn't it? Yes. And I'm walking towards something which looks like it might be going uphill. Anyway, as I was saying, it hasn't really been raining today, but it has been very dank and it makes it super atmospheric here. Never really been here before, but it's, um, it's certainly a really interesting place and really beautiful countryside. Well, this looks like a peachy little pool for a, um, a dip. I think Les and the Dales Dippers would be proud of me for this one. Might have a little look upstream though, see what else is around. Uh, minor change of plan. I've decided I'm gonna go straight in on this one because I walked along the path a tiny way and it seemed to peter out and I thought, the light's dropping, it's already not great. Let's at least get one dip in. Stumble there. It's chilly, but it's not freezing. I just love the bubbles. Let's see if we can have a look at them underwater. Woohoo! What an awesome Friday night! Best 
sneaking up on your own, I reckon. <sighs> that was a good end to a work day. Wish I lived near Waterfalls. It's a ladder style. That was tall. So I'm hoping to have another little swim. I think at the top of uh, a falls that's just hidden from the road. Nice secluded spot. Brew up a cup of tea, have my little breakfast, and then I'll be on my way down the road, just enjoying the scenery from the car. have a little dip before breakfast just in this top pool above that waterfall so I won't be going over the far side don't want to end up down there right I've had a little swim up the um, up the pool and I think you're fine come with me Could be a bit more of an effort one-handed swimming. Ooh. Yep. Into the next eddy. <sighs> Let's turn around there. I can't be in for long because I don't want to be late. Over at the term. Largo. I'm going to meet a group. It's like an infinity pool nearly. <laughs> One with rocks to bump into. <laughs> right, I think that's enough for now. I could stay here all day, but then I really would be late. <sighs> Time for breakfast. So that is a jet boiler. It should make my um, water really quickly. But I'm feeling like I'm surrounded with midges. When you're next to me on the camera, it could be completely covered in dots. I really hope that isn't the case. But this might be my first experience of Scottish Midgey Hill. Oh. And breakfast is served. So, got my takeaway fruit bowl from my B&B. Little bar of Nutri grain And uh, my cup of tea. And I think I'm breakfast for the midges. But I'm going to sit here and enjoy this for uh, as long as it takes to wolf down that food um, and then get out of here. Beautiful as it is, I don't want to get eaten. Here's my view for breakfast anyway. I need to get out of here because the midges are getting me. Um, yeah, starting to itch. I don't know if that's psychological or they actually have bitten me. Right, a bit of a trek back up to the car and then on the road to go meet up with the group. Looking forward to it. Well, I've 
arrived at Lower Largo and I've just met Amy over at the sailing club. I was a bit worried about how rocky it was here, but I reckon we must be going to get in off that sandy bit, just over here. So it looks cracking, really looking forward to meeting some other swimmers and um, well, I'll take you along. set up for a little tea party here. How exciting. And here she is. The cup of tea lady. <laughs> what a turnout. So many people. I've never seen such a big group of swimmers. This is amazing. Swimmer's mantra, and isn't it? Say, well, that was lovely. Lovely to get in and have a little bit of a chat and a bob about in some waves and uh, now for some cake. Good looking, eh? Andy, like what Rosie picked out. Yeah. Well, you never know what you're going to get at one of these events. Turns out a cauliflower just out the field. I am definitely having one of those. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to have one and get it in my video. Take a bigger one. Oh no, I'll go with a small one. <laughs> <laughs> My love is your <laughs> I do love a cauliflower. Yes. I'll get involved with that in a minute. <laughs> it's just going to have pictures of my hand coming and eating. <laughs> I'm staying at Queen's Ferry tonight. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right, yeah. Yeah, I've got one. <laughs> well, what a brilliant evening I've had. Well, afternoon and evening. And look, here's my little cauliflower. Can't believe I got one of those all the way up in Scotland. Anyhow, big thanks to Swans River Beach. Um, I've had a really lovely time. What a massive welcome. And um, I will definitely be back. It is super going around the country and meeting people who also enjoy outdoor swimming and seeing their hidden gems and their local beach. It's just brilliant. Look at this beast. Okay. Yeah, this is literally the wobbliest thing I've ever ridden. Quite funny though. Wine on a big pan there. Oh, nice. Fish it out. Okay. Um, and there's a, there's, there's a button on the top, an on off, and then there's another. <laughs> Just get myself going. There's people who um, find me hard to make and go down again then. Oh, there. Opposite oh. way. Ooh. So we made this last. Ah, last year doing oh, oh, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> yes, thank you. It was deliberate. Oh yeah, I see where you went. <laughs> so this is what this is, this is the fishing pool. You've already been in some cold water, haven't you? This... Yeah, I mean this is Scottish temperature. I would say similar. <laughs> it's dropped massively since last week. Mm. Well, I'm here at Marianne Rogers, little local swim spot, and she's just showing me around. 
what a lovely spot. We've had an action-packed little bike ride here on a, <laughs> a bike the like of which I've never seen or ridden, but it was quite good fun. And uh, we have five feet in the background there on literally the best thing I've heard of as a, um, a bit of litter picking. Pick the boat out. How amazing is that? I like the laid back stance as well. I can see that it uses that bike. I mean, if you're feeling adventurous, we could jump. We could just sort of... I'm always feeling adventurous. All right, well, let's just step round and swim yeah, down. Let's go for that. We're going to go for sunset, Paul. Yeah, of course you will. I am unable to fully answer that question. <laughs> When there's a little bit more water in, we go, should we just do it on our bottom? And we end Woof. up covered in <laughs> I'm good for getting covered in bruises, so here comes the next in my set of bruises. <laughs> section we refer to as the falls. The falls. <laughs> Roll over and bump this way. Oh, just bang my knee on a rock. Oh, oh I'm not going your line then. <laughs> oh, I'm <and> my bottom. <laughs> Check these steeds out. These are these are our um, yeah our steeds for getting across the field. They're cracking. <laughs> in particular, my favourite one. Make sure you get the saddle bags in. Yeah. Oh yeah, I missed those. The panniers. The panniers. Recycled panniers. Yeah. I mean, look at that seat. Just about enough to get my backside on. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's quite a comfy ride. Right, I'm being antisocial. I thought you'd just demonstrating how skillful you were across the field. <laughs> oh God, you're demonstrating how fucking short my skirt is. I think. <laughs> Well, it's been absolutely fabulous to come along and see Mary Ann in her kind of home environment and to have some lunch with her. She's a um, living, breathing artist, which is amazing. So we'll just walk through the gallery. There's just lovely stuff all the way through. I feel so privileged to have been able to come and take a look at her artwork in person and also to see some of the subjects of it hanging out in the garden. It really has been a super experience to come along and see where Marianne works and uh, to see some of her stuff in person and also to get out and go and have that swim really local to her on those uh, fairly crazy bikes <laughs> it was brilliant it's so nice to be to, to come along and see you in your natural environment having seen she does some live videos of uh, of the paintings and uh, it's good to see and recognize those bits as well Thanks ever so much for having me. Oh, it's been lovely, lovely seeing you and meeting you in, in the flesh. <laughs> not so much of it. No, not so much of it. <laughs> A little bit less than previously. <laughs> right, well, I better better get on my way and down uh, head on down the road. Thanks ever so much for having me. Oh, it's a pleasure. It's lovely to meet you, Rachel. And we'll see you again soon, I, I hope. hope so, yes. 
I've really enjoyed meeting lots of people on my little work trip around uh, the Midlands and up to Scotland. It's been fabulous to go and meet with people that I've spoken with online and, uh, and see their area. So a big thanks to Siobhan, uh, to Amy at the Sw and the Swans of a Beach and also to Marianne Rogers whose um, gallery I've just visited. So cool to be able to meet people who share your passion and also to actually meet them which is something we haven't been able to do with new friends over the last few months. So I've had an absolute ball and I hope I'll be up and see you again soon. I hope you've enjoyed this week's video and if you have you'll give it a like, drop me a comment and let me know when you said yes to something uh, and let me know how it went and if you really enjoyed it please consider subscribing to my channel by clicking on my face and uh, dinging the little bell and you'll know when the next one's out and I'll see you next time. Bye!